All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, buckle your seat belts because this is going to be interesting. Man. So I made it to my pickup, but the spot that they gave me to drop this trailer is going to be tight. I got to drop it right here beside that trailer between the container and the PTL trailer. But look, I have all this crap in front of me. Man. It's gonna be really, really tight right there. Whew, I don't know. Yeah, there's a, man, I just, whew, I might have to 90 degree this joker. This is gonna be a challenge. You know what? I'm gonna hit that trailer right there, so I'm gonna set up again. I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna have to do a regular 90 degree alley dock on this joker get up here and then cut and then swing around at the back of those trailers oh man challenges challenges but I like a challenge man all right well ain't nothing to it but to do it right so let's do it I don't have enough room to clear this. Nope. Crap. Not sure how the best way is going to be to do this one. Let me set up again. You know, setup is everything. If you don't have a good setup, you're not going to have a good bat. You know, it's probably best that I blindside this one. Well, no, can't really do that either because them trailers right around here. So, give myself a little more room here. It's not going to be exactly a 90 degree alley dock, but be close enough. Yep, figured you'd all get a kick out of watching me do this one here. Oh, yeah, we're looking good now. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, looking real good. Oh man, I'm liking it already. Woo, it's gonna be tight, it's gonna be tight, it's gonna be tight. Yep, that's not gonna work. So. Get it back just a little bit more. Follow it around before I start cutting it. I'm gonna go look because I know I'm close to that container, but how close? I should be pretty good there. I just need to roll back just a little bit more before I start cutting. Oh yeah, we're good. I actually need to follow it back some more and then swing it. I know on this camera it looks like I got a mile to play with, but I really don't. I mean, I got plenty of room here, but you see what I'm working with there. It's going in that hole. It is going in that hole. I 
gonna look and see how much space they got. Never hurts to get out and look, everybody. I'd rather get out and look than hit something. So if I keep cutting it, I might clear it. I just might clear that. Just need to get it to go ahead and kick on around. Start pushing it around. I got my wheel cut. Go back a little bit more. Go look at it again, see how it's doing. But I think I think I'll be okay there. First time I was too close to this trailer, I was too far this way. Second time I was too far over and I had to stop because I mean I could tell the gap here. I knew I was going to hit that trailer. So, see it's trying. I'll go a little bit more and see. I still think I'll clear it. I'm going to be real close to see. I'm watching my tandem. As long as I can get my swing around, then I'll be all right. don't want to reset up I'm so close man I think I got that it just worries me because my angle is not quite right I wish I had more room out front where my tandems are now I, I actually would like my trailer to be further around because you got so much tail back here on the trailer so you got a, a lot of swing Okay, see it's coming off of it already, so we're good. I know I'm good. I just got to watch this tire here. Make sure I keep them tight to that white line. And we'll be good. We'll be real good. Let's go up here and get a thumbnail. Yep, that'll probably be a good thumbnail. Old thumbnail for the old bitch. Keep an eye on my side skirt here so I don't, uh, or my calf extenders. Make sure I don't hit the calf. Hmm. See, it's not gonna. It's gonna to try to twist more before it starts rolling now. I'm gonna hit that other trailer. I need my wheels to start rolling. They're not wanting to roll just yet. They're almost about to roll. If they would start rolling, I could get it going up into that hole. I don't want to pull forward too much because the swing of the trailer will hit the other trailer. There, yeah, they're starting to roll, but I'm still too daggone close. Still too daggone close. I'm not gonna get it in there like that. So, I have to. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't like it.
But I could push it back some more if I could just get it to go back and then turn. <laughs> I just got to get my tractor around now to push it. Keep wiggling the front of it around. But the problem is I'll run out. Man, my, my setup was just all wrong on this one. Getting my workout. Nope. Still not gonna clear it right there. Tell you what, the other side worries me. <sighs> See, I still got some room to go back. Not a whole lot, but I do got room to go back. It's getting kind of close to the other trailer. Man, if I had just that much more room. I'd be in there. If I had that much more room on this side, I'd be perfect. I could roll it right in there. Well, I wouldn't be perfect. Too many times I backed up and pulled up. All right, so I went around and now doing it on a blind side. Not sure if I'll be able to get it even then. But I don't want to say I couldn't do it the other way. But I will say, it was hard. It was really, really, really hard. So I'm trying, I got a little bit of a better angle. I really don't think I do though. Let me go look. I don't think I do got a better angle. It's the same either way you go. See, I'm gonna hit the trailer there. Maybe if I could come up a little bit more and then, then start kicking it. I think I started trying to kick it around a little too late. I feel like I'm gonna run out of room and hit these trailers here though. Just my mirror so I can see. I'm gonna go look at that. Man, I'm glad I don't have a whole line of trucks waiting on me. I actually had one truck come up and got behind me. He was a day cab. He put one of these trailers in here i think the one beside that hole he put it in there he had a time even with a day cab i mean day cabs tend to turn a little quicker and sharper you know they can they don't take as much nose room to come around and stuff like that i mean not much but still just that little bit if i had that little bit it helped me but yeah i, I waited on him i pulled up got out of his way and then when i come around this way another guy was pulling out from over there and he had to come out this way so I was holding him up, so I got out of his way too. I think I'll be okay if I just keep going like I'm going. I just hate that I can't see the other side at all. Yeah, 
and I definitely want to go look at it. I don't want to take no chances. I don't want to be paying for a trailer. See, I'm too close right there. There's just no way. There's no way to kick it in there. Yeah, there's absolutely no way to get it in there right there. Because where I'm at now, I need the front of the trailer to swing on around. And as you can tell, it won't. If I keep pushing around like I'm going, I'm going to hit that trailer. And then even then, if I do get past it, I won't have enough room to straighten my truck up to follow it in. So, yeah, I'm just going to have to... Uh, find a yard dog it sucks but man there's no way i tried every possible way there's just no way of getting in that hole you win some you lose some i hate to lose them like this but you know hey i tried i mean you can see in the mirror right there i don't have much room at all i mean like i said if that trailer does clear it it'll clear it barely but then by that point i'll need to start turning back to you know chase around to get back under the trailer to get it straight and my tractor will hit that trailer so i don't know I'm sorry guys, I tried, but uh, catch you on the next one, maybe it'll be better. Alright guys, I don't feel near as bad now, I actually feel okay. Still feel bad that something defeated me, but I come and found a yard dog and asked him if I dropped the trailer if I could get him to put in the hole for me and I told him the hole 336 that they had me putting it in and he started laughing and shaking his head. And he said, man, he said, there's a spot up here at 5 over the road, 501, something. He said, just drop it on the corner right there. He said, we're really over capacity. And he said, that is a tight spot right there. He said, honestly, it would take me 30 minutes to get that thing in there. And I mean, those uh, yard dogs, they're real short. So they're good for turning, you know, real tight corners and getting stuff in there like that. But uh, yeah, for the yard dog to tell me he can't do it, I feel better. But yeah. Um, I'm fixing to go meet him up here. He's going to show me where to drop it. But I just wanted to come on and tell you all that. But uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. All right, so yeah, I just had to come back on and show you where he told me to drop it. As you can see, those are not spaces right there. This is the roadway. See all the spots there? This is the roadway. All those trailers lined up there are not in actual spaces. The actual space ends right here, that trailer there. So that's where the space ends. So all these are not in the space. Uh, this trailer and the one beside it are not in a space So it shows you how overpacked they are in here and for him to tell me that he struggles Getting it in and out of that spot. Like I said, it makes it feel a lot better. I know your boy tried I ain't one to give just give up I will give it my best shot and I gave it my best two three four shots and Man, I was really struggling with it. It was kicking my tail but yeah, I'm going to drop this one and then go around and pick up my other one. My battery's getting low again. I don't know. Man, these GoPros, they just run through them. But yeah, I'm going to drop this one get on the road. And uh, when I get close or to my next spot, I'll get with y'all then.